bowls, dishes, and more. It's just fascinating when they're made out of wood. This morning we're learning about wood turning and we're going to be joining Ansley Watson now learning more about exactly how it's all done. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. Check this out. We're going to learn how this chunk of wood gets turned into all of this beautiful bowls and everything. This is gorgeous. Joining me this morning is Norm Hefke, and he's a wood turner. Good morning, Norm. Good morning. Thanks Ansley. for being with me this morning. Well, it's tough getting up at <laughs> four o'clock. That's why you just have to have fun, and then it's all easy, right? <laughs> so how does one even get into wood turning? Well, uh, some of us are joining a club that some of us started about uh, nine years ago, mm -hmm. and we, we teach classes at every one of our club meetings, and we also have a lab at my shop where we work on club lathes and, and we learn how to turn. And you started this 16 years ago and you're telling me you self-taught yourself. How did this happen? Pretty, pretty much self-taught and I did attend some national meetings, at one at Aramont three times and then I was out to Utah. But those, those classes are week long, but they mostly show you how to make something and we, we turn out something, but you don't really learn the, the proce process from a to Z, you pretty much most of us learn it on our own. And what is wood turning? Just kind of explain what it, what it involves. Wood turning is, is taking a, a, a blank of wood mm -hmm. and... Such as this? Yes, that's, that, that would be shaped on a bandsaw or with a chainsaw. And then it's affixed to a lathe and it's, most of us turn the, the wood in two stages. We turn it uh, part way to a, a thick, like, like these, mm -hmm. are turned into a, a thick uh, blank, and then they're waxed, so they dry slowly. They're dried for about eight months, and then wow. they're finished turned. So they're on the lathe about five times. So this whole process takes about eight months. Correct. Uh, when we do it this way, we can also turn it in uh, one stage, it's called green, uh, yeah, green turning. So we take a blank and turn it all the way through. Uh, and then what I do is I stick it in a, a paper bag with paper so it dries slowly. And then uh, about a month later, we can uh, sand it so that it's smooth and you have a finished product that way, rather than waiting eight months for the, the green wood to dry. Okay, so the eight months is just for the wood to dry, basically. Correct. That's what you're waiting on? Correct. What kind of products do you make? We're looking at some beautiful yeah. handmade crafted things here. Uh, I turn mostly uh, functional items that can be used uh, around the house mm -hmm. and mostly bowls of various sizes from anywhere from three inches in diameter on up to 20 inches in diameter. What kind of wood do you use? I prefer to turn uh, Burl wood, and uh, in the UP, the uh, black cherry burl and the maple burl are fairly common. So I buy my material from loggers and landowners that are interested in selling their their really waste wood. And you said burl. What? Explain what that is. Uh, burl is is a growth on a tree. Often, no one knows what causes it. Mm -hmm. but Those bumps that you'd see on trees? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Well, Norm, I think you're actually going to teach me how to wood turn. Is that right? I can do that, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> when we come back, we'll, we'll try it out. Reporting live in Harvey, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right. Have fun with that, Ansley, as we get ready for the day. I know a lot of people that just fascinating to see all of that craft work. It's so Yeah, it's amazing. It's just, it is. I can I understand clay, but the thought of doing it with wood, and yeah. it's, it's amazing. It is. So Now, for those of you... Welcome back. Well, this morning, we've been taking a closer look at the art of wood turning. Ansley Watson is there this morning talking to a local wood turner and learning a little bit more about it. And Ansley, as always, be careful. <laughs> See, I'm, I really do need to be careful. I'm holding this tool and I'm not even quite sure what it is, but I know it's useful. It's a three eighths so, inch bowl gouge. There it is, Norm <laughs> Hefty, everyone. <laughs> he is a wood turner and he's going to actually show us how to wood turn this morning. It's kind of risky business teaching me, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> you were doing a good job. Thank you, yeah, we were practicing just in case. So kind of walk us through, you get a blank of wood, you said, just a raw piece of wood. And then right. 
how do you turn into these beautiful bowls that you make? Well, the process I use is I take a, a blank piece of green burl wood and I turn it into a, a rough shape of a bowl like this so that it's got an inch of thickness to allow for warping because it's going to change its shape when it dries. So I, I wax it so it doesn't crack mm -hmm. and then I wait eight months roughly until it's dry and I use a moisture meter to tell if it's got any moisture left in it and then I put it back on the lathe three more times and turn it back round and then into the shape I want. So this bowl has been sitting around for eight months and it's ready to go now it's dry? Correct. Okay. And it'll take me about an hour and a half to return the, the waste wood out. Okay. And then I'll have a finished bowl. So what we're looking at here is the lathe. That's your main tool. Right. The, the main tool and a, a, a bowl gouge. A bowl this gouge. This is a 3 8 inch. Uh, and it's just placed on the on the tool rest and in this case I'm I'm scraping and I'm just going to scrape the the, the uh, warp out of the bowl mm -hmm. like that or I can get at it like this as well different ways of approaching it how do you know when you're done how do you know that that's the look you want that's what you're going for uh, because how some, fast is this spinning? This is going 750 RPMs. I often turn these at 900 RPMs. Okay. And I know it's done when I like the shape. Oh. And I can, I try to leave enough wood in here so that I can change the shape mm -hmm. uh, based on what, I've, what I'm what i thinking of at, at that time. So when it's round and it's the shape I want, then I sand. Okay. And I use uh, usually uh, four different grits of sandpaper and a power a power sander. And then that's when you put the oil on? Is after and you sand I, it? When I'm done with the outside and then I do the inside, get it down to one quarter inch thickness so it's relatively light. Then I take it inside and do my finishing. I put my name on it and the kind of wood it is and put a usually an oil finish. But sometimes I use wipe on polyurethane. Okay, and what type of wood is this? This is black cherry burl wood. All right. So you're gonna turn. I'm right? gonna turn, here so we go. You're gonna stand right here and you're gonna get up nice and close and you're gonna scrape along there. Okay, you're gonna guide me. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we have to turn it, turn the machine on. And you're gonna put your hand up close to the, and rest on the tool, that's what it's called, a tool rest. That's doing, pretty easy. It's not too fine. bad. Thank you. I don't want to mess up your bowl. No, you, you can't hurt it. Okay, good. What do you do with all these wood chips once you're done with it? These uh, wood shavings. It's about two feet deep in the woods right now. Oh. <laughs> I use some for mulching in my garden. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, this is almost therapeutic. All right, Norm. Well, thank you so much for showing us the art of wood turning. It's been a great morning. Well, thank so you. Thanks for being thank with you. us. Thank you. Thank you. Reporting Andrew. live in Harvey, Ansley Watson, and we'll be back with more of your TV6 morning news after the break.